Are you thinking about making a move to Woodbury or are you just curious about this really popular suburb? If either of those are the case, this video is for you, so stick around. I've seen Woodbury sprout up over the last 30 years. It used to be just farms and now it's a thriving community and a really great suburb that has everything you could need. I'm a local Woodbury Realtor and I've been helping buyers and sellers for over nine years. This video is about what I would wanna know if I was moving to Woodbury and some other fun facts. Now you probably know where Woodbury is, but if not, we're about eight miles east of St. Paul and about nine miles west of Hudson, Wisconsin. If you live in Woodbury, comment below what you like about living here. Now let's get into some quick hitting facts about Woodbury. Here's some background on this adorable suburb. Woodbury became incorporated in 1967. It's about 36 square miles in size and the current population is about 81,650. It is the eighth largest city in Minnesota and it's a fast growing suburb too. It's growing at a rate of almost 2% per year according to World Population View. The average household income is just over $156,000 and the median home sales price in 2024 is about $410,000. The median age for Woodbury is 38, so pretty young and hip. Last fun fact, Woodbury was originally named Red Rock, but once they found out that there was already a Red Rock in Minnesota, they switched the name to Woodbury after Levi Woodbury, an associate Supreme Court justice from New Hampshire. I'm gonna be honest with you here, I did not ever hear of that last fact until I was doing research for this video. Okay, so what else would I wanna know if I was moving to Woodbury? I probably would want to know a little bit about the schools. So as far as schools go, it's a little complicated because we do have three school districts here in Woodbury within the Woodbury city limit. First, we have school district 622, our North St. Paul, Maplewood, Oakdale. Next is school district 834, Stillwater area schools. And finally, we have school district 833, South Washington County schools. So which school district is the best? Well, it's best to go on niche.com or another similar website to see school district ranking. But with all the buyers that I help who purchase homes in Woodbury, they're typically looking for 834 Stillwater Area Schools or 833 South Washington County. Both are very highly rated. We also have some private school options as well. And there are private schools and charter schools in nearby suburbs well within driving distance. Let's talk next about shopping and restaurants. So as far as that goes, I believe Woodbury has some of the best shopping options in the Twin Cities metro area. You can buy pretty much anything that you're looking for in Woodbury. We have an open air mall called Woodbury Commons and it's really upscale and has fantastic shops to choose from and eating options. We have more traditional malls and there are strip malls, lots of grocery stores ranging from Aldi, Cub Foods, Trader Joe's to Kowalski's, Lund Byerly's and Whole Foods. And as far as food options go, not grocery stores, but I mean actual restaurants and coffee shops, we have most of the national food chains in Woodbury as well as some pretty nice sit down restaurants. Personally, I absolutely love Hazelwood's, which is a restaurant that has a few other locations in the Twin Cities and I love Cravings Wine Bar. It's a locally owned restaurant and they have terrific food. I love Crave for sushi and Japanese food and there are a ton more places but that's just a few of my personal favorites. If you're into golfing like I used to be, I used to be a pretty decent golfer before I had little kids. We've got two golf courses here in Woodbury, the Eagle Valley Golf Course and Prestwick Golf Club. You can get a round of 18 holes and a golf cart for about $69 at Eagle Valley and at Prestwick it's about $111. There are a bunch of other golf courses right nearby as well. For example, Cimarron Golf Course is right on the border of Woodbury, but it's actually located in Lake Elmo. But for the purposes of this video, we'll only talk about golf courses that are actually in Woodbury. Woodbury also has a really nice park system throughout the city. Almost every neighborhood has a park nearby. There are over 50 parks, not even counting the school parks. So there's plenty of options for those little tots to explore. And connecting most of the parks is Woodbury's expansive of paved trail system. It spans over 160 miles of really nice trails. It's fantastic for bike riding or running or just going for a stroll. If you're looking for a little more adventure and you enjoy mountain biking, Carver Lake Park has some great single track trails. And we're also really fortunate to have an amazing sports complex, M Health Fairview Sports Center. It was formerly known as Bielenberg Sports Center. It's one of the largest multi-use sports centers in Minnesota. It has really high quality indoor and outdoor facilities, including a 90,000 square foot indoor field house, two indoor ice arenas, an outdoor skating rink, 
36 outdoor athletic fields, a splash pad water feature, and Madison's Place, which is a completely handicap accessible, inclusive playground. It's a very cool place. If you're a dog lover and you like to socialize your dog or just get him out for some great exercise, you might wanna check out Andy's Bark Park. It's Woodbury's off-leash dog park, and it's 70 acres and has walking trails, benches, picnic tables, pet watering station, and pet waste disposal station. Now I'm sure if you're interested in moving to Woodbury, you're more than likely interested in learning more about the real estate here as well. Well, you're in luck because that is my specialty. So if you're thinking about moving to Woodbury or wanna sell your current Woodbury home, call, text, or email so we can get the conversation rolling. And I'm not a secret agent. So if you'd like to check me out, please do just Google Stephanie Checkley and you'll find me and a ton of positive online reviews and I'll help guide you through the process of moving, whether or not you're going into Woodbury. So moving on to the types of homes that we have here in Woodbury. Western Woodbury is where the city started. So you'll see homes there that were built around the mid to late 1950s. There are still some of the original farmhouses, although very few. And the homes there are primarily one-story homes with basements. Around the mid 1960s, we started to see some two-story homes being built here as well as some split entry homes. Now, as a rule of thumb, you'll see older homes on the Western side of Woodbury. And as you move east and southeast, you'll see newer homes and neighborhoods. A very common house style in Woodbury is a two-story with three or four bedrooms on the upper level. And on the main floor is your office, dining room, living room, kitchen with a basement, as well as a two or three car attached garage. And as of 2024, the lowest traditional home sale was $274,000. It was a split level home built in 1976 with four bedrooms and two baths. The highest home sale here in Woodbury so far this past year was for 2.7 million. And it was a four bedroom, six bathroom, four car garage, just over 7,300 square feet on an acre and a half lot. It was built in 2020. We currently at the time of filming June, 2024, have about two and a half months supply of inventory in Woodbury, which means that if no new homes were built and everyone decided they were no longer going to sell their home, we would run out of housing in two and a half months. This is a fairly low level of housing. We currently have 139 homes for sale in Woodbury, single family homes, and the average days on market is 20 days. As far as neighborhoods go, we have a lot of them. So the best thing to do is tell me what you're looking for and then I'll be able to point you in the right direction depending on what your needs are. Are you looking for a neighborhood that has an association and has some amenities like a swimming pool? or are you trying to steer clear of a neighborhood with an association? It also depends on what price point you're looking at. Pretty much all of our homes here in Woodbury are powered by gas and electric and the provider is XL Energy. We have city water and city sewer for the most part in Woodbury, unless you're in a larger, more rural lot, in which case you might have a well and a septic system. If I was moving to Woodbury, I would definitely wanna know what the internet options are because I like my internet fast. Well, we have about four options to choose from with Xfinity from Comcast, which is cable and CenturyLink DSL being the two most popular. The fastest option is most likely gonna be Xfinity if you're looking for speed. That's what we personally have. If you're thinking of moving to Woodbury, I'd love to hear from you and help you find the best fit for location and home. That should give you a pretty good summary of Woodbury as a whole. And if I missed something that you wanted to know more about, please comment below. And remember, if you're looking to buy or sell anywhere in the Twin Cities or Western Wisconsin, don't hesitate to reach out.